This is We All Juggle Knives with a little bit more fitness related content for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about regain, a big fear, a big problem that people have with weight loss is that, well, statistically, something like 95% of people who lose weight regain some weight. Some of them regain all the weight. Some of them regain even more and get even fatter, right? This is called yo-yo dieting. Now, me personally, I went from 260 pounds to my goal weight of 185 pounds, and I'm currently uh, a good more than 10 pounds even below that, right? So I have not regained, all right? And that weight loss, started October 2018, took about six months from that time till now, um, I've been maintaining and improving and even lost a little more. So you're probably wondering, hey, how come you haven't regained? How come you're in that 5% that does not regain? What's your secret? What's your secret? Well, I'll tell you my secret. The reason I have not regained the weight is because I have no urge to overeat because I don't have uh, those cravings. I don't have an out of control appetite anymore. So I haven't regained because I'm just not hungry enough to uh, overeat anymore. You know, here's the thing, guys. If you're eating twice as much as a normal human, it might just be because you're twice as hungry as a healthy person would be. Kind of makes sense, don't it? You're eating twice as much because you're twice as hungry. So maybe you're going to be twice the size or however, however fat that's going to make you, right? So we really have to ask, why, would, why do people get hungry? Where does hunger come from? Well, it turns out in human beings like Hormones are the chemicals inside your body. Hormones are the chemicals that trigger your body to generate sensations that you would know as hunger, right? So if you're twice as hungry, it's probably because your hormones are completely unhealthy and fucked up and damaged, right? So. If you're fat, it might not directly be your fault. You're just responding to what your body is telling you to do and your body is telling you to eat excessive amounts because your hormones are fucked up, right? So how come my hormones are not fucked up? Oh, they were. When I was obese, I just had those same cravings that you might have now, but I fixed my hormones by losing weight in the correct manner by eating healthy foods that repair instead of damage me. Uh, see, here's the thing. I saw a diet advertised on TV the other day and it was typical of these bullshit mainstream diets that do not work in the long term, or if they do, they're incredibly painful to you. Nobody can stick to them long term. And I'll tell you why. I'm not gonna name this diet because they would sue, the, they would sue me, okay, for exposing them but it's pretty obvious which you, look, they're all crap, all right? But on this TV diet, they're basically gonna sell you a bunch of diet food, right? And their whole thing is, on our program, you can eat pizza, you can eat brownies, you can eat cake, you can eat chips, right? So it was hilarious, dude. Like, right? their brownie, they give you a little micro cube brownie, like a little tiny micro brownie that's like one third the size of a normal brownie. They're like, you can eat brownies. It's the tiniest fucking brownie. And with pizza, oh, you can eat pizza. It's a little micro mini pizza that you buy from them. It's ridiculous, dude, it's ridiculous, right? So of course these diets do work to some degree, because if you go from eating a whole pizza to eating a little micro pizza, well, yeah, you know, you're gonna lose some weight. If you go from eating a normal brownie to eating a little micro fudge cube, yeah, you're gonna lose some weight, but you're still basically eating crap 
that's horrible for you. The little micro brownie, it's still basically a bunch of sugar, completely messes up your insulin, which is a hormone that makes your body store fat, right? And makes you hungry. Uh, yeah, exactly, makes you hungry. So the reason people regain is probably because even though they're reducing the calories they intake, they're still basically eating overprocessed crap and junk food, right? So yeah, that television diet will definitely make you lose weight, but you're gonna be hungry as fuck as you're losing it because you're just eating junk that makes you hungry and fucks up your hormones. You're just eating a third that, than what you used to eat. So yeah, you'll lose weight, but you're gonna be hungry as hell because it's not doing anything to fix your internals, right? You know, eating the, the micro brownie, Sure, it's gonna mess up your hormones a little bit less just because it's not a whole brownie, but it's nowhere near fixing what you need to fix, which is uh, your internal chemistry, your insulin resistance, your pre-diabetes, you know, type two diabetes, right? So these uh, reduced but still junk food diets are basically probably why most people regain because they're still just as hungry. They're still just as hungry as before, but they're eating a third of what they ate. So of course it's just torture and those people eventually give up and relapse because how can you not when you're still ravenously hungry? So the way to not relapse and to not regain is to do things right from the beginning, or at least maybe you could start, you know, with some iffy foods, but as you progress, like if you're like a year if you're like a year or more into your program and you're still eating some weird like mini chips or something, like some weird mini pizza or some, some little micro square of fudge, right? That's probably why you're, you're getting messed up because you eat that, it doesn't satiate you, it makes you more hungry, okay? So the way that you like don't regain is that you try to do things right from the beginning and get healthier and healthier in what you eat as you progress with your weight loss, right? So for example, if you eat some low calorie complex carbs, carbs, some healthy vegetables and some good protein, it's gonna be way better than like the mini pizza, the, the mini donut, the mini potato chips, the mini every junk food known to man, okay? so. Eat healthy, your hormones will be repaired in a certain amount of time. Now, within six months to two years, it might take to fully reverse the horrible damage you've suffered. But I guarantee if you do eat healthy and stay active, you eventually, like me, will no longer even have the urge to overeat. So you'll just, you'll just not regain because you'll have no urge to even eat the food that would cause that. All right, so yeah, I know this is not what people want to hear. People want to hear some trick like, oh, can't I just eat junk and be super healthy? No, you can't eat junk and be super healthy, okay? You have to eat healthy food, which is complex carbs, low calorie, high fiber vegetables, and some good protein and a little bit of fat to go with that protein. All right, I do hope that helped some people out. I pretty much feel like I'm telling you what you already know, but maybe you, you don't want to admit it to yourself, so you have to have someone to tell you, but did you really think some like micro candy bar, some health candy bar would be healthy for you? No, nah, you already knew that was bad. Come on, you, you already knew this stuff was bad. The little micro donut, you already knew that stuff was bad, but maybe uh, you needed someone to encourage you to to follow through on what you already know. Okay, so I hope this has helped you out. Oh, and check the text description box under the video for various information that might be useful to you, some books, some exercise equipment. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.